Hello, this is Candy with eyes to Jesus.blogspot.com. And as I mentioned in my most recent planner video, I was planning on doing a video on a review of the binder that I had my planner in and that I still do. And this is a review of the uh, Philofax Classic Croc in the personal size. And mine is in the color fuchsia. So this is just going to be a quick review to give you some info of what I think about this planner, etc. You can see more detail on its features and what I have in this planner and uh, more details on what's in the pockets in my uh, January 2019 planner setup video here on my channel. Now, how does this beauty compare to the Filofax Malden? The Malden is fabulous in previous videos over the past few years. I called the Malden the creme de la creme of planners for Filofax that's been replaced now that I got this classic crop. But barely, I still think Malden is fabulous. Now, the Malden, what I like about it, it's got a long strap and it is a floppy, unstructured planner. So between it being floppy and unstructured and the long strap, the pockets are very stuffable. You can put a lot in its pockets. Now, the ring sizes in both of these are both 7 eighths of an inch. And uh, so it's the same size ring size, almost one inch. Now, one of the main complaints about the Malden that people have is its pen loop. It is a full leather pen loop, and it is a small pen loop. Uh, so there's a lot of pens that you can't get in there. Uh, that is one of the things that is uh, better about this Filofax Croc. The pen loop in the Filofax Croc is 100% elasticized. It's a full elasticized pen loop. So it stretches. You can get all sorts of different size pens in here. But to keep with the classy croc look and the high quality of this planner, there is a leather flap that goes out over the outside of the pen loop. And the flap is not connected to the pen loop, so it doesn't affect elasticity at all. So you can, so that flap just kind of sits there and kind of curls over the loop. So you can just have that flap sit there, or you can do what I do, and I clip my pen clip over that to keep it even more against the pen loop. Complete preference. It looks awesome either way. Now, while I would consider the Classic Croc to also be an unstructured planner, um, it is not floppy. And I think, uh, you know, it's got a thicker leather, and because it has a full length back pocket, we've got more leather here to deal with. It's not just one strip of leather like with the Malden. The uh, touchability of the leather, uh, this is currently the most touchable planner I own. It's even more touchable than my previous favorite, Daytimer Malibu. And it's more touchable than the fabulous leather of the Filofax Malden. So yeah, touchability, it's, it's great. Um, Smell, you have to let it air out for a while. When you first get it brand new, uh, it smells like firecrackers. That smell dissipates rapidly, so don't worry, and it's not too overwhelming. And then you get a subtle leather smell. It's not a very strong smell at all, but it's not a bad smelling planner once a firecracker smell dissipates. You get a subtle leather smell. The Malden, I, I can detect hardly any smell whatsoever of its leather. This one, I can detect a subtle smell. Uh, the strap on the croc is, so, is shorter than the, the famous long strap of the Malden, meaning the Malden pocket-wise is more stuffable, one, because it's floppy, and two, it's got a longer strap. So this one is still quite stuffable, though. Uh, because of the pockets in here, I have all of the years week on two pages inside this planner, even though they're not all in the rings. I have the week on two pages for January in the rings, and the rest of the week on two pages inserts for the rest of 2019 are in the pockets with no problem. I have some of them in this front slip pocket, and then I have some of them in the back slip pocket. So in both pockets, at uh, slip pockets, I just put on a pretty piece of scrapbook paper and then I have my extra inserts behind that scrapbook paper. Now, the front of the Classic Croc only has two pockets. It has your slip pocket and this zipper pocket. The zipper pocket is amazing. It goes all the way back. It's nice and deep. It's gusseted, and thank you, Final Facts. A gusset is on the bottom instead of on the top like it is with a lot of gusseted zippers. The Malden zipper pocket is not gusseted, which makes it a little hard to get change out of there if you're using it as a planner and you're keeping your change in there. 
This one is gusseted and it goes in deeper. So uh, if you're using this as a wallet and you keep your change in here, this pocket will open nice and wide so you can actually look in there and see what change you have and pick out the coins that you desire to use. I like the gusset on the bottom because planners tend to be uh, thicker on the top because we put it in paper clips and uh, a little magnetic bookmarks, etc., which makes them thicker at the top. And then if you add a pocket gusset, your planner can really be lopsided, really thick on the top and thin on the bottom. By having the gusset on the bottom, it just really seems to balance things out. And I think that gusset looks really nice on the bottom. So I'm very thankful the gusset's on the bottom. The uh, zipper pole will not scratch your dashboard. A lot of planners that have a zipper on the front, the zipper pole scratches the dashboard. This one will not because we have a leather tab and the zipper pole is behind the leather tab. So the zipper pole won't scratch your dashboard. It's behind this fabulous leather tab. What a great idea. And then the back pockets, you have seven card slots and then of course another uh, side pocket here. And I like that the card slots are on the back instead of the front because I personally don't feel pressured that it has to look all cute and pretty because it's one of the first things I see when I open my planner. They're in the back, so I can just stick in there what I want to stick in there and it's good. Now, if you do want to decorate your front, don't let the lack of pockets uh, scare you away. Uh, you could use paper clips and clip on various um, ephemera and journaling cards. I mean, you can clip paper, paper clips all along this pocket and all along this pocket here because remember my favorite pocket we have a full length pocket back here and uh, almost all my papers back here right now are full size le letter sheets of paper that I just folded in half once and popped in and you see they do not come up to the edge there is no way they're going to stick out they fit in there fabulously and that was one of the main features and reasons why I wanted to get this planner also, uh, yes, the, some of the Giglios have that feature, but one, Giglios are more expensive, and two, from what I've seen, at least via YouTube videos, uh, I personally think, from what I've noticed, that the Filofax footprint is superior. It's uh, about the skinniest footprint you can get without your pen bending your tabs and without everything getting all messed up and hitting the pen with, and hitting the strap. And that's what I like. I like my personal planners to be as thin as I can possibly get them. They fit better in my purse. So if I'm carrying a shorter purse, which I am right now, there's no way this is going to stick up out of my purse. It's fabulous. The Philo Facts personal size planners are my favorite planner footprint. Uh, so I really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, this planner is absolutely fabulous. Um, the leather is very trainable. When I first put my stuff in this leather, because of the shorter strap, I of course got the butterfly effect where your strap is closed, but your covers are splaying out wide on either side. So it's like butterfly wings and thin in the middle, right? It took me like 10 minutes. I just relaxed and watched a YouTube video and I trained the leather. I just kept squishing it down while I was watching a video and it trained. This leather is trainable. So when you first get this planner and you put your stuff in it, if you don't like how it's sitting, just take 10 minutes. Relax, put your feet up, watch a video, and just train your leather. Bend it the way you want it to sit. It trains and it will sit the way you want it to sit. Now that brings me to another question people have asked me, and that is, does this lay flat? It cannot lay 100% flat because it's got a full length back pocket and so you see when it lays flat this is what it looks like underneath. You have this extra material here that's going to buckle and it's got to go somewhere. But it lays flat enough. Laying it on my hand, that's how flat it is, that's us with the front cover open. If I turn to my current inserts, my today marker, that's how flat it lays. So it lays flat enough to where it causes me no problems and uh, I don't even notice it. And it lays open most of the day uh, to my current page uh, where my schedule is, where my to-do lists are, and where my inserts are. Uh, so yeah, if you want a planner to lay 100% flat, then you're probably not going to want a planner that has a back pocket. But if you like the back pocket, look, this lays pretty close to 100% flat. So it doesn't lay completely flat, but it lays flat enough. The strap does not get in my way when I'm writing and doing my things. It's just short enough to it just sticks up right there. It doesn't get in my way. So uh, I personally have had no problems with the strap getting in my way at all. It's kind of a non-issue. 
So which do I like better? Do I like the crock or the malden? I actually like the crock better than the malden. And if you are going to invest in a very nice leather planner, then uh, yeah, I personally suggest the crock. Well, the malden is pretty. Um, I find myself getting tired of looking at the malden fairly quickly. But with this uh, crock embossing in this beautiful Italian calf skin leather, I don't get tired of looking at this planner. So I do recommend this planner if you're considering investing in a high quality planner. You can't go wrong with the uh, Filofax Classic Croc. And of course I chose to get mine in the personal size and in the beautiful color fuchsia. And I love it. Have a blessed day.